Hello, welcome to Sutichai Life English. Kun Stanley Kang has been in Thailand for many, many years, more than I can remember. He's now more or less like a Thai. He was chairman of the Foreign Joint Chambers of Commerce, and now he's still very active in business in Thailand, a long-time observer of Thai politics, the Thai economy, and Thailand itself. So welcome, Stanley, to this session of Sudichai Life English. สวัสดีครับคุณสแตนลีย์สวัสดีครับคุณสุดิชัยสวัสดีครับ So what are you busy with these days, Stanley? I think after the post pandemic, uh, the world are are back, but mm. of course different from before the the COVID nineteen, right? Mm. So I'm start traveling around the world. Uh, mm. To meet uh, different business partner, mm. uh, I think that uh, we still not yet uh, fully recovery from the effect of uh, COVID pandemic, and maybe this two year are still very challenging. Yeah. But of course, we got to meet uh, different people to see different thing to find out what will be the next. I see. Prime Minister s e t a t o b i s i n has been traveling the world, telling. Foreign investors that Thailand is back in business. He's inviting foreigners to invest in Thailand. He's been very active, and a lot of Thai people say that he's a real good salesman. So far, what is your impression of the prime minister? Uh, I think uh, our prime minister right now uh, he's really uh, working hard. He's mm. really selling uh, Thailand to the world to then. People know uh, who we are and what our position right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He has been promoting Thailand as a hub of many things: the aviation hub, financial hub, soft power hub, and land bridge. And of course, he believes that Thailand is a very attractive place. You have been doing business in Thailand for a long time. Do you think foreigners now understand Thailand as a good, attractive place for investment? What would a foreign investor or potential foreign investor ask? What kind of questions would they pose to the Thai Prime Minister? Uh, I think yes, uh, Thailand. Uh, I'm living here for the last 44 years, so you years, know yeah. uh, we have a lot of foreigners here, especially Thailand. It's a beautiful place. We have all the people from the west and from the east. I would like to invest in Thailand. Yes, but as Thailand has been uh, open for foreign investment for several decades, right? Yeah. And then, in fact, we should really, we should be really clear to tell the foreign investment mm -hmm. uh, what's our position now and yeah. what we really want. You yeah. understand that mm -hmm. uh, from uh, old time, uh, we have a lot of uh, cheap land and a lot of cheap labor, mm -hmm. but all those kind of economic growth already changing Thailand, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, today's Thailand is different from in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, especially, uh, I think either the government or the private sector, the, uh, we should really tell the following investment: What mm -hmm. are we now, and then where are we going to be in the next ten or twenty years? Mm -hmm. And that's how you can attract the real foreign investment into Thailand. Mm -hmm. Of course, first uh, will be the ease of doing business. Right yeah. today is the digital world. Right? Yes. Am I coming to your country? Do you have clear uh, investment policy? Mm. Is that easy for me to make an investment, right? And mm. then, and how to do it? So mm. that's always the first thing that the foreign investment will will ask you, right? Mm. And there's, there's several other questions. Example, like today's uh, according to the the climate change, people asking you, can you supply me renewable energy, right? Wow. A lot of different questions people are going to ask you, not not mm. like in the in the past, right? Mm -hmm. And 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 uh, like a foreign chair, we always say that how the ease of doing business mm -hmm. and how will be our uh, corruption issue? Are we reducing it right? Mm -hmm. And is that easy for foreign men to come in and and uh, all those tax sections when they goes out? Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, today Thailand, uh, we need to create a better job to have a better environment. People mm -hmm. also ask, do you have those kind of talent that I need, right? Thailand. Thailand, yeah, of course. Thailand, we don't, we don't have any, we don't, we don't try to attract those uh, uh, labor intended investment, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to to invite uh, more other, just like Kun Su Tae Yong is talking about, 
yes. uh, a lot of different class, uh, new class, uh, even with the soul power. You need to have very good, uh, talented people here. So uh, how our country uh, to make sure that we can have sufficiently uh, to increase or reskill or upskill our okay. people here. That would be one of the things that uh, foreign investment are looking at too. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned ease of doing business, tax, regulations, corruption, and competitiveness in education, talent, right? How so far in the past decade have all these measurements improved in a measurable way? Uh, we are going, we are getting better. But mm. for my personal view, looking at the growth rate that we want to be, uh, we still have a lot of things uh, to, to catch up, right? Oh. And I give a, I give a example like, uh, we still fall, uh, facing like a uh, middle income track, right? So it means that Thailand today, we are not shortage of job opportunity. But oh. can we, both public and private sector, to create a better job opportunity oh. uh, for, for, for the people here, okay? And then also, uh, with the middle income track, means that uh, what would be the the competition that like Suti Chai Yong had to talking about? I mean, competition is a really important world for yeah. Thailand, right? From the rural area all the way uh, to the big, com big company or the government, right? Are we creating more value for our economy, right? Yeah. Creating value. Mm. Yes, yes. Uh, because in the past, most of people come to investment, they talk about cost. If Thailand give the cheaper cost. But today, I think if we want to break through the middle income track and make this, comp this country a better world, we should start talking about are we creating the better value in the society and in the contribution of our workforce and also those money that we are investing into the country's economy. I will create a better value, better competitiveness for the future uh, economic. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Wow, Thailand is not alone in the world. We have competition as well. In the past few years, we have been seeing Vietnam, Indonesia emerging as our competitors. Do they have features, qualities that we don't have? And what are they? And what should we do about them? Okay. Yes, uh, they have a lot of uh, advantage that we had before. We had uh, wow. Yeah, we had before. So from now on uh, in, and for the future, mm -hmm. we got to run because in the past, uh, they are not opening up to competing with us. With us. Yes. But they, today, they, they open the country to compete, competing with us. And you can see that uh, mm -hmm. whatever they have is whatever the real advantage for our country in the past. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's not a doubt. We still have a lot of opportunity because from now, at least this position, how we move Thailand to be the next Thailand. Mm -hmm. And then we should not see them as a competitor. We no. should see them as a partnership, nice. right? So the best business people or best strategy is making your competitor become your strategy partner, right? Yes. A lot of things that they are doing right now, Maybe it's not whatever we want to do uh, mm -hmm. from now or in the future. Example mm -hmm. like Vietnam and Indonesia, they have still sufficiency of uh, uh, labor force. Uh, that whatever, we don't have it. And mm -hmm. don't forget today, uh, out of the Asian country, uh, mm -hmm. other than Singapore, we are another country start going to aging society. Aging right? society. Yeah, we are aging society. And then uh, we are not short, we are shortage of, of foreign labor. Uh, basically, and skill for labor, I believe right now in our country at least have about five million. Yeah. Talent today, talent today is that we how we uh, build our next goal, how we uh, happily live living with our neighboring country to use whatever they have and to use uh, whatever we have to create the next value chain for the, for Thailand, right? And Especially uh, currently, other than uh, the climate change, another. Uh, issue that very uh, hitting all the supply chain will be the geography policy. Yes. I think Green Suti Chai Yong knows very well about current uh, global geography policy. Mm -hmm. And indirectly, it's going to uh, 
is indirect going to uh, make the investment to make decision, mm -hmm. right? In the past, we talk about globalization. Today, yeah. whatever you talk about decoupling and all these supply chain movement, and then really we had to tell people what we want, what mm -hmm. Thailand wants. Mm -hmm. Right. So the foreign investment, they can clearly see that, oh, that's what Thailand want. And that's the opportunity for us can be go and discover in Thailand. Mm -hmm. Well, we want many things. If you have listened to Prime Minister Seta, he wants to be the hub of almost everything. Uh, he wants Thailand to be the hub of aviation, logistics, finance, mm, soft power. Mm, everything, in fact. Now, are we too ambitious? Should we set our priorities so that you know foreign investors, potential foreign investors, would know what we want and then would respond appropriately? What do you think uh, is our problem of clarity? We are not clear enough. They don't know what we want. We want too many things, and they cannot give us everything that we want. Uh, I totally agree with you. Uh, whatever our prime minister say, that should be what Thailand to become. Mm -hmm. But for me and the foreign investment, we look more detailedly how we implement. Implementation is very important, right? Mm -hmm. If when they want to come and we cannot accede to make the dream come true, and that that would be on just the talk. So first, a lot of regulation we got we going to to renew it. For the several year, many years, uh, we have always told the government like the public sector reform. We talk about the Gilioting project, right? How to digitalization our yeah. public sector. Right? I think it needs need more, more effort on that. A lot mm -hmm. of uh, law and regulation reform to mm -hmm. ensure uh, our service liberalization can come earlier. But uh, whatever Kunsuri I am talking about just now, all the government and uh, our people want this country to be. But we still have a lot of restriction uh, to not allow this kind of business or investment to come in. So yeah. we really got to focus on it to say, and then the people can really come, ah, that Thailand is the right place, then we should come and investment now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In your opinion, what should be our priorities? What are the three top projects we should sell to foreign investors now? I think uh, uh, a lot of foreign investment also look at what will our policy continuity there, right? Mm -hmm. So I think one, one key thing, first key thing is that uh, Thailand are still a big agricultural country, right? Yes. So as a food security, it's a globally uh, uh, care about problem, right? Uh, then what's our, our role today? What yeah. Thailand can do with all our, our partner, our strategic partner, our business partner about food security? Because yes. uh, within this country, we still have the most amount of people, number of people are still in the agricultural sector. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, so we should have a very focus. And then how to help our people in the rural area, especially on the agriculture supply chain, for them to have uh, working in a uh, more efficient way and to get uh, create a better value. Right. So I think that would be very stable uh, mm -hmm. for the for the for the nation. Mm -hmm. And on the uh, technology part, I think Thailand is not behind other people. You know, we have a lot of like our our automobile supply chain, our electronic supply chain. Honestly, even during the COVID, uh, be, uh, at the U.S. and tension between U.S. and China, a lot of supply chain is already relocated into Thailand, right? Are we really looking clearly about all this uh, industry who is already coming to Thailand? Are we solving all the problem mm -hmm. for them to ensure that we have a lot of championship Cluster will yeah, be yeah. into the Thailand. Example yeah. like the the PBC, PBC board that will be one of the big electronic supply chain is already located here. Yeah. So so I think Thailand should focus on certain whatever we have, right? And then if we make it them success, and then for sure they are the one will tell back to tell their people Thailand is a good investment place. And rather than we talk about, I mean, it's not happen. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, the you talk about corruption as well. In the past few years, is the question of corruption Thailand worse or better? Uh, I think that when we look at the index in the last uh, two, three years, we are a little bit going down, right? 
And then, and I think we do a lot of things, but the PR is very important, right? Especially how how you go to the media to tell people that whatever we are doing, right? And can we can we do it better? So I think that I talk to many uh, senior uh, Thai business people. They're always thinking that have the clear picture how we improve our corruption issue. That will be always a very easy way to attract people to come to invest in this country. And that's the lowest cost, right? You know, you don't need to invest a lot, but you really need to reskill and upskill the people's mindset, right? And then because corruption is always a cost of doing business for the for, for the investment, right? If they, they, they know this country, uh, we have the way to deal with it, right? And then probably this will be very attractive, uh, a key for people to come for the investment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, but you know, you can have effective PR, public relations, only when the real story is also true, meaning that the level of corruption must really come down in, o- in order for us to be able to present Thailand in a positive way. But uh, a lot of Thai business people are still complaining about corruption. Yes, that's why Kun uh, Su say even the Thai business people are complaining, then how the foreign <laughs> investment, they will be comfortable to, <laughs> to, to come here. And yeah. sometimes I, I told people that when we go to some uh, public sector, there's so many documents, even uh, Thai people cannot really understand. How can you expect the foreign investment to really understand, right? Yeah. How to how to deal with all these documents and regulation? Yes, but the government in the past, or uh, even the present government, has been talking about one-stop service. In your experience, has one-stop service for foreign investors really happened? Is it you know really effective? Do you go to one place and every steps of the action will be carried out there? I think that uh, currently POI have the one-stop service. Yes. So it's very good service, yeah. But unfortunately, they only allocate for certain group of people, right? Oh, because on the, BO, the board of investment, POI one-stop service, yeah. uh, they, they, their capability is only supplied for the POI approved company plus the company uh, who are registered and had a business uh, over 30 million baht up, right? So oh. it means that Means that uh, it's good case because means that we can do it because a BOI one of service is a very good service. Yes. But at the same time, another question come up: Why we cannot do it to everybody? Ah, uh, uh, why not for everybody? BOI may say that we promote investments, so we cater to companies that want to be promoted. If you're not on the promotion list yet, then you know, sorry. You better apply, but then you have to be qualified, right? So before yes. you are qualified, if you don't have the ease of doing business measures, then you cannot uh, take that step of applying. Well, it's you know egg or chicken or egg first. Yeah, that's why I agree with Kunsujai. That's why I just mentioned that BOI is a very good case. Yeah. So that will be the the success case that uh, mm-hmm. by foreign investment to coming. But if we want to attract uh, more people to come in and even uh, to support mm-hmm. the Thai business to grow and economy to grow, yeah. we should be able to expand this uh, service model uh, to everyone, right? It's not just for the foreign investment, also for the for the Thai company, right? Yeah. And then I think that would be much more more benefit for our economy. Now that's why we always talk about digitalization, right? And uh, a lot of big data uh, within the company, uh, within the government, because mm-hmm. by government itself, they are the largest data center in yes. the country, right? Yes. And then I think that uh, if within the, uh, the, the government, the digitalization cannot use the data uh, cross in between different ministries, right? And then all the, all the people uh, have to run in different minister, ministry and yes. taking different document for approval. Right, you know that every time you go to the bank or you go to the any uh, a government agency, how many documents you have to sign, and yeah. a lot of those those documents you you need to sign you, you sign is a document from the the the, the government agency, right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. so we're still not digitized enough, and we still have not 
been able to launch what they call the e-government so far. How close uh, are we to becoming an e-government? I think uh, e-government, there's certain ministry they go very fast yeah. and certain ministry they, they go very slow. Yeah. So overall, uh, we are still uh, quite behind, mm -hmm. right? But we, 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 I still believe that uh, we should focus on this one. For right? mm -hmm. example, uh, I think Christopher Young right now has a very good experience whenever we want to do Thai passport. Uh, uh, yeah. In the past, we, we took a long time. Right yeah. now, very easy. So yeah. I always say the good case, I'm a more positive person. I just want to show the case that you can do it, right? right. right. And like VOI, like we are Thai people uh, uh, applying passport right now. Yes. And why other things we cannot do it, okay? So so they just really need to focus. I, I think all the things you start from the basic. If everybody pay to the basic, yes. uh, they, they, whatever they do to the daily service to the, 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 the people, if they can all become digitalization, and I think that would, that would be good. And people should focus on that. I think government efficiency will be one of key sectors uh, when foreign investment to, to think about uh, should I come. Because when all these people come, it's not just big company. They're coming with all the full supply chain, right? There's other supply chain, have small one, medium size, everybody coming. Mm -hmm. So if we don't have the very good ease of doing business to serve them, then it's very difficult for us to attract all the the foreign investment to come in. So I totally agree with you. We should look at back to see Thailand, how will be our e-government um, yes. performance right now. Yeah. Yes, yes. But to become an e-government, we need to shake up the bureaucracy. And that's not easy. Politicians don't want to shake up bureaucracy because it upsets too many people. Uh, you have to downsize bureaucracy. You have to have proper KPI so that you can measure the performances. And that's not going to be easy for Thai politicians who want to stay in power. That, I think, is one of our problems. Yes, I totally agree with you. Uh, even in the, the, the private sector, we go through that. That's why uh, we're always talking about it's not how many quantity of the people are in your company. Wow. It's how valuable people are performed in your company, mm -hmm. right? So, so like my, my, my company, my good company, we had a putting up a, a very clear uh, a target. So I want to share with everybody. So just a, a, a small thing, we, maybe we can learn together. Yeah. First, uh, we are going very fast on our digitalization, mm -hmm. right? Because that's a new tool. Don't against with the technology. Because we believe that technology will change your world, right? Mm -hmm. So from the traditional uh, telephone to, to mobile phone, to today, we use smartphone, and with the smartphone, there's so many uh, digital type app. Like you can interview me right now, we can talking online right now. It's all new things, right? Yeah. So we should accept the new things, and all the technology were changing a different cluster. So digitalization is very important. So either private sector, public sector, small uh, SME to the big company. Second, mm -hmm. innovation. So mm -hmm. I I hope that the government himself, even the company owner, we are thinking. What will be the innovation? Yeah. Is our people uh, contribution increasing? Means the, the value of people. Don't think about the people with just a cost. How much budget I have? How much budget I spend? Mm -hmm. Right? How cheap I do? But yeah. we have to think that with this human capital, mm -hmm. uh, we uh, every year increase uh, the the value uh, for the contribution, and they can have better life. Right? So with the digitalization, uh, innovation plus service. Very important service. Just like Queen Susia Young have mentioned that our Prime Minister go go around the world try to attract all the foreign investment. Today, it's not just manufacturing. It's right. manufacturing with service. Are you providing a better service? That yeah. means value, right? So yeah. just like smartphone today, it's not just a phone. They provide yeah. a lot of service, right? Yeah. Online service. Either yeah. you eat, you pay, you can do everything with that. That's right. That 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 machine. Yeah, that's that's very easy. And yeah. most important. Uh, everybody talking about right right now. We call a plus either ESG, right? Mm -hmm. Either we talk Thailand, we talk we talk about BCG or talk about ESG. Another thing we really have to focus on it. Yeah. Example: uh, I just have a call with my friend yesterday. They coming from Chiang Mai. I asked them how is Chiang Mai today. They oh, said they still, yeah, yeah, they <laughs> still burning. PM two point five. That is a very serious issue. What did your friends from Chiang Mai tell you? Yeah, they say. PN 2.5, when Su Tian see that, uh, yeah. if a foreign investment see that, you cannot even daily 
uh, dealing or solving the, the, the environmental issue in your country? How can I come to investment, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, I think, yeah. I think that's why we, when we talk about ESG, with all the environmental issue, right, and also with all the sustainable issue, and also with the the governance issue, governance issue, right. And then this, this very important. So we got to learn. So my corporate in the last five year, ten year, we learned a lot, and then we we apply a lot of technology. And I just share you example like uh, we have a dying house in Thailand. I have, I have to use. Uh, four thousand liter of water, uh, uh four thousand ton of water uh, per day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Die house, die house. So I use a lot of water. But in during the pandemic, I say water will be most precious things in the world in the future. So how should we do? So through the biotechnology, through the mechanical uh, technology, right now, uh, we make investment and we are recycling our wastewater to use ninety percent. Ninety percent. Yeah, and then most important. All my investment on recycle all this water should be cheaper than the the raw water I'm buying from outside. Oh, uh huh. So, 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 so in the past, I think it's impossible. But wow. when we really sit down and innovate to mm. find out a strategy plan to come and help us, a mm. lot of uh, uh bio science uh technician, a lot of mechanic uh, uh technician, uh to meeting with us to see the how we dealing with our water. Mm -hmm. I finally, I get a solution, right? In the past, we don't think, but today we think about, it, you know, and I have a big of land to uh, keep the wastewater in the past. Today, I use all this land to receiving the rainwater. Rainwater. When the rain, and then become my, I have no cost on all this rainwater, and I can use it too. Yeah. Wow. And then in the past, uh, either a uh, shortage of water, or I keep too much water, it cannot release out. It's all the risk for the operation. But today become I taking out all this uh, risk and become an advantage. Uh, and then when I show my foreign customer and our dye house right now is the most advanced in the world. Uh, mm -hmm. We use a lot of water, but we recycling our own water 90%, uh, right? And then we show the very good uh, ESG, a lot of uh, net zero, uh, uh, new carbon neutral policy. And then my my investor today, my my partner today, they had to give order to us <laughs> because they say which in the supply chain, yeah. if they cannot select their supplier, their partner as a net zero or know how to deal with the climate change, and yeah. then they will not solve their own problem. No, no, no. right, right. Mm -hmm. So Thailand would have to be very serious about the green economy, green economy, right? Yes. Sustainability, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, uh, I believe sustainability and green will come. And then and then you look at people more focused on all these kind of things. Yes. And example, Kun Su Chia Yong, like just now you 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 are you are we are talking about PN 2.5. Yeah. Highly in the past, I remember 40 year, years ago when I come, we don't have this problem. Oh. Yeah, but today. So so a lot of things is our when during our economic growth. Uh, we get some economic benefit. At the same time, we do have the bio uh, case, bio happening comes out. But yes. today we got to solve all this problem, right? So not just focus on uh, the economic growth, but can we uh, bring this country economic growth, become more healthy uh -huh. and more responsibility and more sustainability, right? In the country. And then if we do this way, I don't think our neighboring country can compete with us because mm -hmm. they are what Thailand passed. Yes. We should build the Thailand future new, for new, ASEAN. Uh, new Thailand. Yes, they, we should do were, that. they were doing things that Thailand used to do. We have to reinvent ourselves as Thailand of the future. Right? Yes. And also, I want to say that Thailand is the Land of smile, it's a beautiful country, yes. right? And yes. then uh, we always welcome foreigners to come. But mm -hmm. can we be more focused to see that who should we, who do we want to invite them to be here, right? Ah. And if we can invite a million mm -hmm. of new talents, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, from different of the world, yes. right? Because especially this country mm -hmm. is a, a politic neutral country, right? Ah. Yeah, we don't go left. 
we don't go right, right? Uh, but we are always poor time, whatever we should be. And right. everybody happy to be here. And uh, this is the land of free speech. Right? Yeah. So, so that's our, our good point, right? But are we really going to invite all this good talent to be here? Especially we are within the aging society. We need to put more new blood, right? So either uh, we wait until people come in uh, with whatever they know or not know or know 50%. That's why we have a lot of great business happening in Thailand. I, I think, yeah. Great business, yes. Yeah, all this great business, I think, is because we did manage management as well, okay? Great things don't happen just because the foreigner. Great thing happen because we are not clear, right? Both foreign and local. So if we can be more, more, more clear, we know what kind of business, what kind of cluster, who should we, or how should we uh, invite all these foreign investors to come in. If mm. we focus well, focus, focus, focus well to get the right people in the country, the competitiveness and the value of the country and the and and. And the economic and the people will grow up very fast because of the good qualities of Thailand that you mentioned. Good qualities, charm, our smiles, might be the right attitude. Probably there are strong points and also weak points for us. Some people say that there's so much gray crime in Thailand because we do not enforce our law, because we are nice people, because we are not serious about the strictness of enforcement law. That's why you see a lot of illegal businesses in Thailand. You see mafia gangs in Pattaya, in Phuket, because they can come so easily and they can leave so easily. And you can pay people, you can pay the officials to do illegal things. Do you think that is a fair judgment? Yes, that's why I say uh, for my, my view there, according to that number compared with the total for the investment, are still uh, not that big. But that kind of things impact is very big to hurt yes. uh, the, our country and hurt the relation in Thailand uh, with, with other places, right? So uh, especially uh, a lot of geography politics, so even the small things, if you go with the geography politic issue, will make things from the small one get big there. So I still come back to mm. see that uh, our talent potential. Mm. So how we uh, really uh, mm. bring in the right people. You know, in, in staying here for 40 years, I always expect that can Thailand become the Silicon Valley of Asia? Silicon Valley, yeah. okay. Yeah, Bill Kunstra, you know that Silicon Valley in the U.S., uh, they just need to have a very open society, yeah. right? And they need to have a very good education system, right? They need to create a lot of local opportunity there to, mm -hmm. allow, to allow all this good talent to come in, yes. and then they can brainstorming, and then they do, they get out something, okay? Yeah. So... We should be more focused uh, how to get the right people here and make sure that the East to meet the West and then all the right people are sitting in this country and they can do something mm -hmm. for this country. Mm -hmm. I, I think Thailand was one beautiful thing. Whoever, when they come to Thailand, after several years, uh, Thai people don't all accept they are like Thai, yes. right? And they are happy to say they are like a Thai. They want to be a Thai. Right. Right? I haven't seen many... It's, uh, uh, example, either the Asia people or Western people, when they come to Thailand for several years, just like myself, right? We always say that originally where I was born, but today I'm Thai, you am staying in this country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. So we hope that you know, we can be more focused, we can clean up our bureaucracy, we can really improve on ease of doing business, we can reduce corruption, and we have not mentioned education reform. You mentioned education reform when you said Thailand should become, or your dream for Thailand is to become uh, the Silicon Valley, right? So we need to create talents, and that means real education reform. Are we doing enough in education reform, you think? 
Uh, I show the example to Wen Su Xiaoyong. I came here when I was 13 years old. At that time, uh, in Thailand, international school, there's only about uh, two, three international school. Yes. You know, uh, now the day, we have over 200 international schools there. So, yeah. you know, today's uh, the, the uh, education system with the uh, kindergarten, uh, high school, ju uh, the junior school and high school, and we produce a lot of uh, multi language and multinational talent in Thailand because a lot of them, you know, when they come here, if you don't solve uh, their children's education, how can their family live in here? But I think that uh, the, I want to uh, share with the, the Ministry of uh, Education. Don't think that education is, is just a, a budget of spending the cost. Mm. We look at the Thailand today, how many of our, stu our children? go to study abroad mm. every year, either mm. America, mm. Europe, or uh, Australia, or Japan, may, even China, many other countries, taking our education money away. And Thailand, we have a lot of stuff. You know, I think you know that we have many universities uh, in, in Thailand, so, and all the hardware there. Yeah. Can we have more open policy mm -hmm. uh, to then all these uh, university? can go and hire more uh, international professor, right? And to yeah. make Thailand as an education hub, right? To make all the neighboring country people, right? Before they go to US or they go to to, to Europe uh, for study, will they come to Thailand for study? So look at education as a, a, a profit center, as a, a, a creative center for the for new talent. I yeah. think, if we can do that, uh, we can keep a lot of talent here. And then Thailand will be really uh, become another soft power, real soft power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real soft power, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. I'm glad to hear Stanley talking very passionately about Thailand because he has been here since he was 13, 44 years in Thailand, love Thailand. And I'm sure he's going to live here until his last days. Do you agree? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So uh, I do a lot of things. I'm just thinking that uh, my family settled down here. My yeah. children born here. They are like they are Thai now. Right? Yeah. So yeah. it's not just how to make money, but but uh, because everybody make money for living. Yeah. But today, as my age, it's not too old. It's not too young. So we have to think about uh, what we do for the country, right? Yeah. What we do for our next generation. Right, and that we should work together to make sure that uh, Thailand is always beautiful as whatever the first day we come to this country. Yes, yes. Thank you very much, Stanley. Thank you for spending time talking about Thailand, our country, and trying to look into the future and see Thailand at least half of the dream that we have been having since our childhood. But hopefully, it will be better than what we dream. And the next generation will enjoy a better Thailand, a more prosperous and more ambitious Thailand. Thank you, Stanley. Talk to Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Yong. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. เช้าสายบ่ายเย็นมีเรื่องร้อนเรื่องวิเคราะห์เรื่องสัมภาษณ์เรื่อง Exclusive ต้องที่นี่ที่เดียวครับไปติดตามผมใน Facebook 2เพจเพจสุทธิชัยยูนกับสุทธิชัยไลฟ์และอย่าลืม YouTube ครับ YouTube ไปกด Subscribe ที่สุทธิชัยไลฟ์กด Subscribe แล้วกดกระดิ่งเตือนคุณทันทีที่สุทธิชัยไลฟ์มาในมือถือคุณนอกนั้น Twitter ไปกดติดตามและ TikTok ครับ TikTok ล่าสุดนั้นสามารถที่จะถ่ายทอดสดสุทธิชัยไลฟ์ให้ทุกท่านติดตามได้เช่นกันสุทธิชัยไลฟ์ anywhere anytime สุทธิชัยไลฟ์คือเพื่อนที่เล่าข่าววิเคราะห์ข่าวสามารถทำให้ท่านทันข่าวทุกวินาทีจากนี้ไปครับ